so in this video i'm going to talk about how to find the inverse of function algebraically okay so we are given a function f of x is equals to 2x minus 3 divided by 5 so we have to find the inverse of this function to now make sense of inverse of function i would like to do the flow method that we have done before so if we see this function okay now in the flow method what do you do first you take a x okay now first we think how this function is constructed you know how this whole function is made simply if you are given with x okay so we take an x now if you see what is done over there okay so it's simply multiplied okay it is simply multiplied by 2 please uh, this is all sign of x okay uh, they are quite similar but i'm writing here multiplied so this is multiplied by 2 we will get 2x now what is done further please you can see that now further you can see after 2x there is you have to do subtract 3 so you get so you will get 2x minus 3 and after that what we are done what is done okay so if you see there is divided by 5 so we must divide this by 5 and this will give us okay so we have 2x minus 3 divided by 5 now this is equals to y okay so we suppose here you know that generally we suppose y is equals to f of x and that is equals to we have 2x minus 3 divided by 5 now this is the result you know now what is the inverse so going the reverse in opposite way this so i will start from the y okay please now y can be replaced by x later but to understand from here i will start with y so it won't will, it will not make confusion to us so if we start with y okay there is a y over here so we have to do the inverse there is a divide sign so we'll do multiply so multiply by 5 so the, this will be 5y and after multiply by 5 you see over there you must add 3 okay if you add 3 now this will be 5y plus 3 now after doing this you can see there is into 2 so we must we must divide by divide by 2 so we have over here uh, 5 okay i'm writing the no enough space so 5y plus 3 divided by 2 okay now let's check in algebraically okay whether i have got the right answer or not now see uh, we don't generate write over here y now if this is f inverse of x we'll write over here this will be 5x plus 3 divided by 2 so we have the original function over here so this is the inverse okay now okay it makes sense you know say if you see this divided by 5 is multiplied by 5 there is minus 3 there is a plus 3 there is multiplied by 2 there is a divided by 2 so inverse means you just inverse in the action so let me do algebraically now how this down algebraic let me show you okay i'll start with a question like this uh, so we have f of x is equals to 2x minus 3 divided by 5 okay now solution solution let y is equals to f of x that is y is equals to 2x minus 3 divided by 5 after this we interchange the position of x and y so we get x is equals to 2y minus 3 divided by 5 now we have to find the y in terms of x again so or or this will be 5x is equals to 2y minus 3 or we have 5x plus 3 is equals to 2y but you can see or 5x plus 3 divided by 2 is equals to y and this y is the inverse function so we can write therefore f inverse of x is equals to 5x plus 3 divided by 2 and this is the same result that we get over here you know so see oh sorry uh, this is the same result we get over there so 5 y so actually we have over here that is 5x plus 3 divided by 2 and 5x plus 3 divided by 2
now let's review what we have done okay as a steps i'll show you now in the step one what it did so we let y is equals to f of x and in step two after doing this we have to interchange okay interchange x and y once you do that so in step three we should find y again okay that means y must be alone okay it must be alone in one side of equation and the other side there must be x and all the remaining everything other side so once you find y again so you have find f inverse so simply you have to substitute in the place of y you have to write f inverse of x so you get your answer so we have problem over here y is equals to 2x minus 3 divided by x plus 1 did you try to solve the problem and you can write in the comment section so what answer do you get so i'll make the next video uh, doing the question so we'll have idea over there now let me go to the identity function now identity function is this kind of function that preserves okay it always uh, sorry it always p-r-e-s-c-r -E it always preserves the identity the identity identity of okay identity of input okay so uh, that means if we if we have a function okay as a machine i can i want to visualize you again a function as a machine so if you have a function this is a function that acts as a machine so it has input and output if you give x to this function so what comes out is also x that means uh, in this case f of x equals to x now if we make a graph of this function so the graph will be a straight line that passes through the origin and makes an angle of 45 degree with the x-axis if you take the point suppose if you take the point here over one so this point will be over here one so these are the x values and these are the y values okay so this is all about it uh, uh, subscribe more to see you know more videos on the function and all the kind of experiment uh, so enjoy